So the committee looked at the current approaches to preventing youth suicide, um, particularly what's working and what's not, so that we get the, the best outcomes. Um, we looked at the services that are available to uh, vulnerable and at-risk children and young people. We looked at the collection of data to make sure that it's relevant and that it's timely and, and will make a difference. Uh, and we looked at the gaps in research as well, and that's really important to pull it all together. Uh, and we also looked at how we can best reach children and young people through schools and, uh, and through technology. So the inquiry was conducted over the course of about a year. Uh, we were thrilled to receive about 50 submissions and, and they were from wide various groups of, of organisations and departments. We had uh, organisations like Black Dog and Headspace uh, give us submissions. We also had government departments come forward with their experiences and their research that really helped develop our, our recommendations. Uh, we also had people with lived experience come forward and they were obviously very important to talk to to see what better guidance we can provide and better programs we can support uh, and really importantly as well we had some bereaved families come forward to us and uh, obviously that's uh, difficult for the committee to hear but they provided such valuable information that it was very important and, and we really thank them for coming forward as well. Uh, we conducted four hearings uh, including one in regional Singleton uh, that was where we did conduct a round table with some bereaved families and I think some really useful and beneficial information came out of that but the public hearings were a great opportunity to uh, to get some really detailed information information and to see where those gaps are uh, and ways that we can you know help make a difference. Our recommendations were really varied uh, and they tried to cover as many areas as we possibly could so that we can really make a difference with this report. Uh, it, it, it looked at uh, improving access to services and data collection. There's a real delay in time for data collection so we're making sure it's all coming together quickly that uh, it really can be utilised at the time where it's actually happening. Um, we looked at measures to improve governance and, and in the coordination of suicide prevention programs as well uh, and particularly follow-up care for our to hospital, that's really vital that that care is provided uh, after people leave hospital, that they're not left in isolation at that time. Uh, we also looked at uh, encouraging the use of technology for uh, rural, regional and remote young people, that they're able to get the support that they need as well and, and they're not left alone. Uh, and we looked at the rollout of gatekeeper training so that uh, people in our schools are able to provide the support that young people may need and children may need, and also that that gatekeeper training is provided for foster carers. Uh, and, uh, and workers in child protection so that they're there as well to provide that support that children and young people need. The committee hopes that our recommendations will be taken by government departments and organisations and, and all brought together so that those gaps are addressed and we really hope that uh, our work will make a, a difference in the lives of children and young people.